Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, welcome to another vlog. Um, it is 4.30 in the morning. I'm waiting for Tasha um, to jump in the truck and we can go fishing. Um, I know yesterday I lied to you at first. I said, you know what? I'm not taking a GoPro. I'm not going to videotape. Then I end up doing it even with my phone. I'm bringing my GoPro, so I'll get some footage today. Um, hmm. Same lake. We didn't learn a lesson the first two times, but we're bringing jugs, okay? We're bringing jugs, and instead of, we're running low on worms, so we don't have a lot of night crawlers to do the jugging and the uh, fishing with those, so we're probably going to try to use some jigs and some different lures, um, and she has crickets still. Um, I fed them potato chips and some potatoes so they can get a little, little, little uh, liquids and... Um, the potatoes they you don't want to put water in the crickets because they'll drink yourself to death they're not too bright okay sometimes i'm a cricket but we have that so we brought hot dogs for jugging so 50 to 60 percent of the noodles we're going to do well jugs i call them noodles they're freaking pull noodles people pull noodles people are like that's not noodle and noodle is when you put your punch your hand in there whatever but uh we got hot dogs so we're gonna try hot dogs today on the catfish and that works out well i can get hot dogs for 75 cents to a dollar a pack so that would be um, really cost efficient uh if you didn't know shrimp is cost efficient shrimp it's easier it's cheaper buying shrimp than night crawlers a little thing of night crawlers are five dollars whole pack of shrimp can be like five dollars but you can you got more bang for your buck okay all right nothing else to say but oh the freaking pool got wet last night yes it rained it rained i didn't even think about it i had a tarp too to put over it but you know the news people they roll dice in the back and just tell everybody what the weather might be it's 50 percent chance of rain that covers them for life if i was a news reporter i would tell them i'll tell you guys one day it's 50% chance of rain today, so it can go either way. Then the next day, you're like, oh, it's 50% chance of not going to rain today. So, yeah, it rained. So, the boat did get wet. I had about this much of water in the boat, so I had to drain it here. Um, hopefully, the plug's in right. So, when she gets in the water, I have to have her check the plug. Okay, see you when we get there. Okay, bright and early guys on Lake Shimmerdew. We're gonna be fishing with um, noodles today on this lake for the first time. Like I said, um, we're gonna be using um, hot dog for bait to, to check that out to see as well. We'll probably do half and half um, just to make sure that they might like hot dogs out here. I'm not sure what their what their fancy is, but we're gonna get uh, to getting these uh, baited up and I'll get back to you guys when the sun comes up. Okay, that's all of them. Um, I put the hot dogs on the uh, pink ones that has the pink tape. Uh, then I put the worms on the regular ones. So we'll see 
how it goes later. We'll get back to you on that. And we're just going to go do some little fishing now. And um, hopefully I'll let Tasha get some fish. Okay, she caught a fatty bluegill. These are nice sized bluegills out here. Lake, Lake Shimberdew. Close up with that mess. Ow. Yeah, I got big hands for a girl. That is pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, now it's my turn. Guys, see, I have a, I have a, a viable, is that the word viable complaint or excuse? See what she's fishing at? She's fishing all by the good stuff. All by them trees where the insects fall off the trees and the bluegill are waiting for the, uh, for the meal. So uh, I'm all way out here in this this open here, this open area. You meant to say lie. That was the word you used. Lie? No, viable, not liable. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just I'm gonna be the bigger person and just fish anyway. But I want to get a lot of footage for you guys of her catching fish. So that is a perk of of um, you know being screwed and being on this end of the boat. Okay, let me get to try to fish. Let me pretend like I'm fishing here. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, she caught her one little fish, and now she's ready to go to another spot. One little fish. <laughs> I'll just let her get ahead so I can just get a real freaking big whopper and knock that out the water. It's, I think it's right up here. She's gonna take me right to it. Same scenario. Look at that. She's where the good stuff's at. And I'm out here in the open again. So you guys know why she's catching all the fish. said too much go plus stop recording all right guys I had a catfish earlier that uh broke my hook it was a big catfish okay and I'm not lying this time it uh broke my hook I had a little bitty hook on it and I kept thinking I need to get this thing in before uh, before it it comes off but uh i should just let it fight and get tired i had like a 10 pound test on it and the test and the line broke uh we had our our new uh our fishing net it's a one-handed fishing net where you can just snap it open if you don't get caught in your fishing pole well i was going to show you guys But you just snap it open. There you go. So if you're in the, in the boat, you go, and then you can get the fish. But it was so muddy out here, we couldn't even see where the fish was. So it got loose. Got a couple of cuss words happening. So not from her, from me this time. So that was a change. But uh. I'm gonna put this other hook on here and go back and try to get it. So, with that said, guys, I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about when that fish gets back on this hook. No lie, no lies told today, or right now, right now at least. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Picked up the noodles now. Um, we lost two of them on the way here. One jug and one noodle. 
uh, the wind from the boat came out the bucket. But we have 13 of them. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five in the boat now with no fish on it yet. Uh, this this lake, Lake Shimmerdew, is deeper than Lake OK Chubby. So uh, we're, we're probably going to get, I'm probably going to get uh, different noodles uh, and tape them with a different color so we know they're deeper. We're probably maybe 15 foot uh, and do some uh, different size for different lakes. Because when you don't have these on the bottom, they'll drift off everywhere. We've been to, I think it was uh, Lake OK Chubby, the other lake we go to, we found two noodles like far off, so people probably lost them. Uh, but I think we got them all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus, I think there's one more somewhere. We'll find it. Maybe, maybe it's up in here. Okay, uh, we're gonna see what's on here, and if we uh, get lucky or not, I'll let you know when we get done with these. Let me uh, get these. Okay, 0 for 11, 13, 0 for 13, not doing too good, got the hot dogs on there, didn't want hot dogs, I, we didn't bring hamburgers for them, getting all fancy with nachos and cheese, I know pe people, people want us to fish with chicken liver, worms, well they didn't say worms, chicken liver, uh, Hot dogs. We tried both of those. They're just not hungry right now. Okay, boss is telling me to Captain Captain Oshie here is telling me to throw them out. So I gotta go. Go pull stop recording. Go pull stop recording. Well, calling it quits earlier today. Um, we only caught one bluegill and that catfish that got away, nothing else. No luck on the jugs at all. I see why people don't jug out here. So we're gonna call it quits. I'm uh, going to pick her up now on the boat ramp and head on out here and head home. So I will talk to you guys when we get there or probably when I'm done when I'm editing because I'm gonna be downloading all this footage here. Uh, with the other footage and uh, that I have from yesterday and get to uh, get to work so guys thanks for um, watching the fishing trips it's not much fishing it's more of a trip and uh, I'll see you later on today okay okay folks I'm about to jump in the shower I've been editing editing for a little while um, we did get some um, good news about the appraisal that uh, went through um, to the bank now so the lender is just uh, looking um, at it to make sure everything you know all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and uh, everything looks kosher to them um, and then they're going to pass it on to the seller uh, and we're going to work out the uh, actually I don't even think we have to work out the house inspection all the stuff that was wrong in the house inspection list she I've heard she's already getting that taken care of she's already getting that going and starting to fix everything that was on that list so um, she wants to get out of there by the middle of um, August so when you're seeing this probably in about a week we might be moved in hopefully so um, tune into the lives and you might find out exactly wh what's happening um, these vlogs are like two weeks back now they used to be three to four weeks I got them about two weeks they're gonna be up back to about one week maybe and then I'll um, I'll be more uh, more up to date and you guys won't be lagged too far behind because some people see me in Oklahoma and I'm back here and she goes hey Oklahoma I, I wish you knew you was here and it was like a month ago so uh, I am trying to still do that so I am working working good uh, to get that closer to the time that has actually got got videoed um, so other than that, guys, uh, I'm just going to finish editing here um, and then um, take a shower and probably just lay down. So thanks for watching another vlog, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Go from a stuff recording. Hey, guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X. 
uh, only in black right now so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that uh, i do have uh, t-shirts as well the name brand of the t-shirts are canvas uh, they are thick they are soft the logo wipes off like a bib just like on the hoodie so if you want those please check in descriptions uh, they all are pre-washed material so they won't shrink on you so check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that because I do ship in US and in Canada if you haven't already um, hit follow on the garbage disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff uh, please subscribe to my page hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos and hit the like button if you like it other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.